Hello viewers, we'll be going over gold futures, in this video we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1 hour chart. We remain in pause MACD but we're seeing signs of a diverge there and we're still at overbought levels with the RSI. As we extend that to the 4 hour chart, we still remain in pause MACD and at overbought levels. If we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we still remain in negative MACD about to approach to positive MACD territory and we're nearing overbought levels with the RSI. As for resistance, we do have the 100 moving average, this orange line going to act as our future resistance at the price of $1,911. As for support, that will be the 9 day moving average, this blue line at the price of $1,857. If we were to test support, that price movement to the downside is roughly around, say, 1.7% and to test resistance, that is around 1.2% to the upside. As for the trade idea of the week, I'll be trading GLD and my position size will be less than 1% of my portfolio and my long entry is at $172.80 and that is this range here. My sell target is at $176.16. And my stop loss is at $171.56. However, if I were to open a short position, my entry is at $177, and that is this range right there. My saw target's at $174.06, and my stop loss is at $178.27. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day by day probability model which is available in the link below so do check it out. As we progress through the 5th day or week of trading, we have a 20% chance for gold futures to climb between 0 to 1.2% and a 20% chance to climb between 1.2% to 2.4% and for the extreme case to the upside, a 20% chance to climb between 2.4% to 4.6%. As for the downside, we have a 40% chance to fall between 0 to negative 1.2%. So if you've enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.